Now, the turn comes to Mr. or uh, Dr. Ish Kumar. Dr. Ish Kumar is my batchmate, is a distinguished police officer who has headed NCRB. He's also heading the IPF Center on Internal Police Reforms and is a thinking cop. He thinks and he tries to conceptualize things to ensure that the working of police as well as prison department go in positive direction. May I request Dr. Rish Kumar to share his views on policy issues affecting the performance of prison staff, including reforms. Dr. Rish Kumar, please. Thank you, KP. I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are, sir. Uh, thank you for those nice words. Uh, Ramchandan, sir, Dr. K.P. Singh, other distinguished panelists and the audience, good noon to all of you. Uh, state coming to the topic. Now, whatever uh, prison reforms we have been talking since morning, uh, like uh, sentence planning and alternative uh, punishments, Mr. Ahmed spoke about, uh, mental health care of the prisoners, Dr. Upneet Lali spoke about, the role of the NGOs, Professor Vijay Raghavan spoke about, and of course, premature release, Dr. KP spoke about, and then uh, financial uh, independence, uh, Sumesh Goelji spoke about. The point I'm emphasizing is that all these reforms broadly has to be carried out by the prison staff deployed inside the prisons. And they have to be in sync with the current thinking on reforms. Secondly, they should have competence as well as attitude to carry out these reforms. Now, this is uh, my focus of the presentation. And let me tell you, as a special reporter at NHRC, I visited a number of prisons in Delhi, Haryana, UP, Chandigarh. And I found right from warder to the superintendent, they are only bothered and busy 99% of the time in their custodial duties. I mean, uh, reforms, it takes a totally a backseat. Vocational training, educational activities do take place, depends on the superintendent's interest and the initiative. So I'm basically like, uh, and uh, today, Mr. Uh, Somesh Gwell made a point, is post-release rehabilitation a job of the prison department? So that's another question one needs to look into. I um, will be referring to a study which BPRND uh, gave it to Haryana Institute of Public Administration, uh, which was carried out there under my guidance. It was a training needs analysis for the prison staff uh, of all the six ranks across the prisons. Uh, in the phase one, we had visited uh, jail number two and three in Tihar, uh, the Bhonsi jail in Gurugram and Dasna jail in UP. Whatever I'm going to speak is uh, going to be based on the findings of these uh, studies. Uh, we had spoken to all these uh, staff members. We had also spoken to the prisoners. We had spoken to the NGOs, we had spoken to the DLSA people. We even spoke to the district judge and uh, judge who was looking after the legal aid, DG and IG prisons in the headquarters, even the family members of the uh, uh, inmates. And we had an expert committee uh, of whom uh, there were members uh, who are today the distinguished panelists. So let me just flag the issues. Uh, there is a poor understanding of the various categories of prisoners, their issues and grievances. Like in UP, 58% of the inmates said that superintendent never held a grievance session in one year. The three psychologists and counselors in UP told us that superintendent is not bothered about the mental health of the prisoners. The DS in Delhi and UP said that they need training in management of prisoners' uh, issues. Now, similarly, there is a complete 
or inadequate knowledge about the prisoners' rights and entitlements, especially the UN standards for the treatment of prisoners or the Nelson Mandela rules. Uh, most of the, not only the warders, even the officers said they are not aware of the Supreme Court judgments or NHRC guidelines on these issues. Third, there was a persistent complaint by inmates regarding the inhumane, rude, and abusive behavior by the jail staff towards them. The district judge Guru Gram, in a colloquial, said, Bhai unko to dangar ki so this is a problem which uh, is across. The fourth, we felt that there was a need for sensitization regarding need for legal aid. About the legal aid is carried out in a very routine uh, manner. Uh, so there is a need for a further sensitization. A lot of people are left out. Now, similarly, uh, need for training in psychology and counseling skills. So there is a very little training, which is a part of either a basic training for the prison staff. Either you have specialized counselors, but even if you have one counselor or a one psychologist per jail, looking at the inmates population, we definitely need to identify our staff and train them in this. Similarly, there is a need for sensitization in reform and rehabilitation of prisoners the modalities of reforms and rehabilitation and the roles of various agencies, especially the NGOs. Now, NGOs specially complained 100% in Delhi, 75% in UP, that the jail staff do not appreciate their role as uh, NGOs. There was also need for like uh, training in gender sensitization, communication skills, and stress management. You see the negativity in the work environment does affect the mental health as well as performance of the jail staff also. So they need to be trained uh, on the stress management. Now, uh, these were of course the things like uh, uh, competence or the attitude. There were other issues which are environmental factors which impact their performance, especially the jail staff and they do not perform well. Now these environment factors, they mostly belong to the policy domain or the work environment in which they work. Like, let me tell you, when we visited the Dasna, sorry, Haryana jail, many warders told us, okay, sir, our department should be merged with the police department. So they have no pride of being in a prison uh, department. They also complained that most of the people who visit jails they only ask about prisoners. No one is bothered about our welfare. Now, of course, like uh, there are issues like staff is overburdened. Uh, I mean, BPRND norm of one warder for the six inmates in all three shifts, but practically it's like uh, one warder looks after 250 to 300 inmates. Haryana, no recruitment has taken place since 2003. Some contractual people have been uh, taken. And let me tell you that these ratios against one is to six, the actual ratio which exists is Dasna, it is one is to 43. Tihar, it is one is to 30. And Haryana, it is one is to 16. Now, similarly, there are long working hours. There is no weekly rest. There is no shift system for AS and above. The another factor, which is a lot of discouragement because of that, it's a very poor promotional avenues. A large number of warders retire as warders or headwarders only. So if one needs to look at either you change the ratio of warders to headwarders or you conduct some uh, examinations on which based on the uh, married people are promoted. Another bother issue bothering uh, warders is the poor service conditions. They say that they have no chair to even sit no arrangements for it, drinking water, tea, or clean toilets, or even a shelter during the rain. There is no risk allowance. There is no cashless medical cover. So another demand which came up in UP was 
कि समटाइम देर इज ए फॉल्स कोर्ट लिटिगेशन कंप्लेन्ट्स अगेंस्ट देम एंड दे आर हैव टू फेंड देम सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट डजन सपोर्ट देम इन हरियाणा बिकॉज देर आर नो रेंजेस सो पोस्टिंग्स हैपन अक्रॉस द स्टेट एंड दे आर नॉट लिमिटेड टू विद इन द रेंज सो दे आर थ्रोन अवे फ्रॉम देयर होम प्लेसेस सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ असिस्टेंट सुप्रिंटेंडेंट वी फाउंड that uh, except tihar both in up as well as haryana there are only 4 to 5 per jail jail may have a strength of 1000 to even 2500 so which is a very poor strength there is no shift system and as is the most cutting edge level which has all the responsibility but no powers they cannot initiate acrs they cannot shift or discipline the people even within his area I mean, Tihar has 15 to 20 AS per jail, but not in the other states. Of course, there is a huge issue of pay parity also. Uh, Mulla committee said that the police ranks and the prison ranks must have equal pays, but like AS uh, in the older scale, it is 4,200, uh, whereas the inspector of police is 4,600. In Haryana, sub AS and AS both uh, have the same pay scale. promotion the gain is an issue a uh, promotion is a huge issue in D, uh, tihar jail because out of 16 superintendent posts 12 come from the dynamic cadre uh, so the, there are very few promotional chances and whenever the promotion chances are there uh, even those four posts are not filled up because there is a minimum requirement of service as a ds in a particular category which hardly gets uh, uh, filled up similarly all the financial and administrative and disciplinary powers are with the superintendent ds has very little uh, powers we also feel that the maybe ds post should be increased and each jail should have a ds reforms and rehabilitation again the question of pay parity at the superintendent level in haryana superintendent gets 5400 scale whereas in police even an additional sp has a 6600 grade a uh, one solution we found was in up where then the superintendents there are grade 1 2 and 3 superintendent has no power to hire people on outsourcing basis even against the vacancies uh, financial powers are uh, limited and another uh, concerning issue is this uh, getting superintendents in the jails who are not from the jail cadre you see a policeman or a paramilitary officer he can only think from the security angle he doesn't think it from the other uh, angle especially the reform on rehabilitation angle now similarly we found in case of medical officer that there is a huge coordination issues between the jail staff and the medical uh, staff a uh, medical officers often feel that they don't get adequate respect from the jail uh, staff although they have a higher pay scale than the superintendent who is posted there medical officer has no purchase power he has to throw every paper to the superintendent and in haryana there is a strange uh, concept of 14 days posting of a medical officer obviously there will be no ownership i think to attract more medical officers to the jail duties jail duty can be considered as a hard duty which at present it is uh, not being there so all these issues they are causing lot of disenchantment discouraging the people people are not bothered they are passing time they are overworked so we need to look into all this and the neglect let me also mention to you it goes right up to the top at the center now there is no separate prison directorate at the government of india level in ministry of home affair it has 21 joint secretary level officers looking after the various police issues there is not one joint secretary looking after the prison department there is only one under secretary who is now promoted as deputy secretary who coordinates about the whole prison activities even bprnd which has around seven posts of ig and number of digs there is not one officer from the prison cadre who is taken on deputation there so who can represent the prison issues in a right perspective the training infrastructure is dismal i mean i have never seen such bad training institutes as i when i visited uh, uh, patiala i visited up 
I mean, Tihar has no training institute. It's sitting in the capital, but there's no training institute uh, at all. UP has only one. Uh, <clears throat> there is no National Academy of Prisons as Mullah committee had uh, recommended. There is no national policy on prisons in India. And always, of course, the debate whether it should be brought to the concurrent list or should continue in the state list. We also felt that large number of time prisoners are not produced in the courts because police escorts don't come, even taking to the hospitals. So maybe on Tihar pattern, the police platoons should be attached to the each jail, maybe by way of extra sanctions. There should be rewards and incentives for the prison staff. Maybe states can institute the state level medals uh, for encouraging the uh, good workers. Medical infrastructure definitely needs upgrade and we need to sanction uh, an intelligence setup, a law officer, team of psychologists and counselors, an R&D and TNA cell. The 2016, the BPRND model prison manual has not been adopted by most of the states as yet. I think some exceptions are like uh, Delhi. So they need to do. So I would conclude by saying that our study found out that these are large number of competency gaps, attitude gaps, and policy issues, the work environment issues, which until unless we take care of, until unless the prison maven is regularly sanctioned as per overcrowding, recruited, well-trained, sensitized, is well-paid, motivated, there is a proper work environment, service conditions are improved, journey of the prison reforms will be difficult to achieve. That is what we thought. Thank you very much. With this, I'll stop. And if there are any questions later, I will welcome them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Riesh Kumar. You have really become the voice of the prison staff and prison officers. Whatever they wanted to say, you have already said. <laughs> and uh, you have rightly mentioned that they are the most neglected group of government servants. And sometimes, I pity that they are the group who suffer lifelong incarceration without committing any crime. They deserve sympathy of the government. There is a need to do something more for them, so far as their service conditions and welfare is concerned. So thank you very much once again.